Hello everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the 15th video of this tutorial series called Cloud Computing with Microsoft Azure. In my last video, we have seen or understood the concept of the Azure VPN. And also we have seen we have mainly three types of VPN. That is the point to site, site to site and express route which Azure supports. And also we have created a virtual network gateway yesterday. And that was very, very important guys, because based on that or uh, yeah, based on that we will create for go further and today we'll configure the point to site VPN. Okay, now if you have missed that video guys, I would recommend you to please go and watch that video because this is the con continuation of the last video. So if you do not understand how we created the virtual network gateway, you won't be able to understand this video. So make sure you watch that and uh, so let's start. So so before config, let's understand this, what we're going to do and how it's working. So I'm in the Azure portal already, you can see, and you already know that we have a virtual network called is it VNet01 that we have created in our virtual network uh, creation video. So, and the video link I'll be given in the description again, and you will also able to find the link here on your screen. So we have created the is it VNet01 virtual network. And under that, we have created, if I go to the subnet section, and if you remember, we have created two subnets. One is the backend end and one is the front end. You can see these are the subnets we have created. And in the last video, we have added the gateway subnet with it. That is the gateway subnet we have created. Now, if I go to the connected devices, you can also able to find the network gateway. So let's quickly see the uh, bit of uh, uh, overview of the network gateway that we have created last day. So it is under the is it VNet resource group is US location. It's a gateway type is a VPN and it is route based. So I've already discussed that it is very, very important that you choose route based if you want to configure the point to site or site to site VPN. Uh, the virtual network is the ZVNet01 again. And we have assigned the public address, IP address to the virtual network gateway because it would be public facing. Now, before going to the point to site, let's understand why we're doing that. So you have a virtual network configured in your Azure that is a ZVNet01, uh, this one. and now, what you want to do is that, what is the meaning of point to site? Whenever you're uh, in a remote location, okay, uh, you have a different machine, different system, or maybe you are on-premise on your office. And if you want to connect with the Azure virtual network for your work, then you need to install the VPN client software first for Azure, and then you need to connect to the Azure VNet. So the purpose, it's pretty simple, and we will configure the VPN client and also see what are the different procedures that we need to follow to successful this uh, transformation of data, you could say. So you, you are sitting in your remote location and you are trying to connect to the AZVNet01. You are installing the VPN client and you are hitting on connect, and then a connection has been made that's a VPN, so it's a virtual private connection under the secure tunnel, and it will connect to the virtual network gateway because it is the route best and VPN type. And now the gateway will help to connect the data from your Azure virtual network and also do the vice versa. So network gateway is very, very important. Again, virtual network gateway or the VPN gateway without which we won't be able to configure the point to site. Right, clear? Now let's directly jump into it and create the point to site configuration. Now I'm under the uh, network gateway. And you can see we have an option called point to site configuration here under this left hand side. And I'm going to click that. And now we will click on configure now. And here we will configure the point to site configuration. Now, for that, the first thing that we are going to need is the address pool that we need to provide. So, this is nothing but this works as a kind of a DHCP. So, once you connect your remote machine or you know uh, the on-premise machine to the Azure VNet or the AZVNet01 with the VPN client software then the uh, this VNet, this virtual network will give you an IP address. Like it's no, for normal, if you connect with any VPN, your IP address would get changed, right? So in the same way, uh, you are deciding that which is the range of IP address that Azure is gonna assign to your client machine once you connect. Now I'm gonna give it to 10.0.1.1.1. Zero slash maybe 24. Okay, fine. The tunnel type, uh, let's choose it IKV2 and SSTP. Authent authentication type, we'll choose Azure certificate. Now, what is that certificate and why we have choose uh, the uh, Azure certificate here? Now, understand it very simple way. 
inst- while, while you are installing the VPN client in your machine and you are trying to hit on connect. So Azure, like your remote machine and the Azure virtual network must have some authentication to, to authenticate your request. Azure needs a certificate. Now, here we are going to generate two certificate right now, and I will show you how you can do that from PowerShell. First one would be the root certificate that is the self-signed certificates because we are not using this for any enterprise So we have to use the self-signed root certificate So we will generate a root certificate and we will insert the details of root certificate you can see Sorry for that. So you will see here We have to put the name of the root certificate and the public certificate data I'll show you how I do that you have to put there and once you save that as you will save the details of the root certificate now the clients once any client any client who wants to connect to the Azure virtual network or is it VNet 01 Azure will check whether that machine has the client certificate proper client certificate or not So you understand that we will generate a root certificate and then we have to generate a client certificate also and that client certificate We have to install in the client machine and then on then only would be able to connect to the AZ VNet 01 or the Azure virtual network with the help of the VPN client the concept is pretty simple so i will quickly create a root certificate and the child certificate sorry the client certificate and i will i'm going to use this my laptop for i will install the client certificate here so that uh, i can connect to the azure vpn from and i can download the client and i'll quickly show you how i do that so let's do that so you have to go to the powershell first i will search for powershell now my powershell is uh, having the add-in to connect to the uh, is it Azure? So this is just a plugin that you need to install or extension you could say so I'll just write it the command You can just open PowerShell and add that or you can install the plugin. Okay, it's pretty simple So it's already there in my machine. So I'm gonna click on connect is it Account and press enter so it will just connect my Azure account from the PowerShell itself And this is the outside PowerShell I'm using and for certificate generation. I have to use that so I'm going to choose the take with free account. It's pretty simple again guys and the authentic- authentication is complete. You can see I can close this tab and now I'm connected to the Azure account. You will see a message in short. You can see we are connected to the this is my account details. Now to generate the root certificate, I'm going to use a code and I will just give this link. You can find this information very helpful from Microsoft site. This is the certificate uh, for root certificate. Create a self-signed root certificate. And go to the PowerShell, click on enter, and my root certificate has successfully generated. And, and how do I know that it is generated? I can just search for certificate. You can see manage user certificate section. And most of you are who are working in IT familiar with this panel. You can check your certificate here. And I'll go to the personal certificates. And you can see we have a certificate called P2S root cert. That is the certificate we have right now installed and because I installed it or the in this power using PowerShell in this machine it is automatically get installed so in whichever machine you are going to install it's gonna install no problem on that okay and also I will quickly generate the client certificate I will just copy this and make sure you are using this I mean you did not close it because if you close it you have to follow another procedure so I'll just paste it here and this is the client certificate and this is the certificate that we require in the client machine so that they can connect our Azure VPN or Azure virtual network So uh, again, I will just go to the certificate manager and I will just refresh it And now you can see the child certificate has successfully installed in my machine And also I will show you if you want to install it in another client machine in your office machine how you do that now now we know that in Azure we have to give the certificate name and the public certification data and for that for the public certification data that thing we need to export this certificate this p2s root cert i will click on right click and all task and i'll go to the export here i'll choose next don't export the private key next i will choose the security as base 64 encoded choose next and i'll locate it on my desktop itself so that i can show you and i'll name as root cert and I'll click on next finish the export was successful and you can see this is my certificate now I go to the Azure portal and I will enter the certificate name root cert and the certification data for that I'll just go here and right click 
and I have to open it to notepad and you will see some later which you don't understand this kind of things so this is a uh, encrypted data you could say I'll just copy it and I'll paste it here that's it your certificate root certificate is uploaded I'm gonna click on the save button so now a point to site configuration has been done now Azure has the information that this is the root certificate this is my root certificate so if any machine wants to connect that they have to has so they have to have a client certificate installed in their machine and in the client certificate itself will have the information about the root certificate so azure will authenticate that and will let you come to use the azure is it vnet01 okay so in the meantime it is getting saved so i will also let you know or i will show you how you can export the uh, client certificate also so again going to the certificate manager i'll just click on the child certificate same process export now here you have to do something like uh, i will export uh, with the private key and by exporting with the private key you have to mention a username password and why it is important uh, let me just click on next now here you have to mention a password and that password will require when you will install that machine I install this certificate with an another machine now this is i installed in my local machine because i do not have another machine but if you want to install in another machine this file then you need to provide that password so make sure you remember this password someone want to click on next again i'll choose into the desktop and it would be client certificate client crt i want to save it click on next finish now you have this file and make sure it is saved as .pfx file. Now any machine you want to, any remote machine you want to, uh, from where you want to connect to the as it vnet01 or Azure Virtual Network, you need to have this file in that machine. And you need when you will just install it, it will ask for the password and the same password you need to you have given while exporting. Okay. Also in that client machine, you need another soft, another thing, another piece of software, and that is nothing but the VPN client software itself. So I've already saved it and you can see there is an option under the point to site configuration itself that is the download VPN client. And this is the thing we will need to install in our client machine to use the VPN client. So uh, again, this is less like a Cisco AnyConnect that you have in your machine to connect with to your office server. So I'm going to click on download VPN client and I'm going to install it on the desktop again. Okay, uh, I'll go to the desktop. This is, I'll unzip it. And after unzipping it, um, let's go there and I'll go to the Windows AMD 64 because this is the 64-bit uh, machine I have. So based on that, you can install it according to your system. So here, this is a client. I will click on and I'm going to say yes. Do you want to wish to install a VPN client for AZVNet01? So, you know, it is identified already our virtual network. I'll click on yes. And this is the machine where I'm going to try to connect to the VPN. Now. And now here I will go to the network and internet. And if I go to the VPN section, you can see this is the VPN client that you have installed, AZVNet01. And once I hit the connect button, it will connect to the, it will go to the network gateway and it will connect to the AZVNet01. I'll click on connect. This is the Azure VPN you can see. Click on connect and click on continue. Yes. And within few seconds, it would connect you to your, uh, Azure VNet, is it VNet01? You can see it is verifying the password for the child certificate and the child certificate or the client certificate is installed in my machine. Here we go. It is now connected with is it VNet01. And I'll show you the IP address quickly. If I go to the uh, CMD and press IP config, that's all. Now let's see the IP address we are having right now after going to the is it VNet01. Yes, you can see the adapter is it vnet01 and our IP address is 10.0.1.130 because that is the address pool that we have configured. Now it is proof that we are connected to the is it vnet01 for sure. So th this is how you can uh, configure the point to site VPN and you can connect with this. So I hope the video is found very helpful for you. I hope you're going to practice that because this is very, very important for the Azure certification exam, especially for the Azure administrator okay so if you find this video helpful guys hit the like button if you have any doubts come to the comment section and please share this video with your friends and family so that it can reach out to many people thank you see you in the next video bye bye take care